Hi, welcome back to the Playwright and TypeScript course. In this video, we're diving into interaction with the forms, which is necessary as the form is the most common thing which you will be facing once you're automating. By a forms, I mean the radio buttons, inputs, etc. The inputs are actually the most common which used in the in the test automation because once you register somewhere once you looking for some information you are expected to fill the form let's see how we can interact with the form elements in the playwright so previously we push our code to the github and let's create the new folder for the workshop too let's name it a new folder and we will call it work workshop too But let's make sure that the folder will be in you know, a test repository, not the workshop one. And as before, we'll create the spec file. New file, the workshop, workshop two, dot spec, dot ts. So as before, let's import the test from Playwright. Playwright test. All right. And we will start, start with the test and let's call it automating, automating form submissions. All right. Let's get our page and return the test. Okay. So as before, we have to open some page using the method go to. And for this case, I want us to use the Playwright demo page, which is actually nice where we can train uh, and show how they actually, how the actually methods with the filling forms work. Uh, the website is uh, demo playwright .dev. And there is a project to do and we see. So we would copy this variable, we don't need that hash, and just paste it. All right. So uh, the web page, so the demo web page is really simple. Um, we just add the new to do. Clean room, press enter, and there is a option to add another to do. This option, there is option to click uh, as completed, clear completed, etc. There is option to add multiply, multiply to dos, etc. So, the option to delete it. So what we want to do on this website, we actually want to fill some form and let's make sure that we actually uh, get the selector. You can see there is a placeholder, right? What needs to be done? This is a perfect idea to, to use it. We can of course use the class new to do. Uh, it's perfectly described, but on the other hand, why not to use the placeholder? because the playwright actually provides such method it's the get by placeholder and our placeholder what needs to be done just make sure that it's the same we can of course the copy paste it like that all right and for better Cut quality, let's put it into some variable. Let's name it new to do. So we can operate on it multiple times. We assign the new to do with a selector what needs to be done. And after it, we want to actually provide some values there. So just put the await new to do and uh, fill it as before. Mm, let's put some dummy value here like John Doe. All right. Okay. So as you remember before, we 
is actually natural natural usage you want once you provide the once you provide your data you see there is no no buttons but uh, originally we used to click the buttons right so why do you click the enter and you can see this successfully passed and it's right there let's do the same actually playwright allow us to do such thing so on this new to do selector we want to press the enter key all right and once we press the enter key we want to provide some provide some other values like new to do dot fill and let's provide the value jj do and also press the enter key all right let's make sure that this work there's our command to push and then yarn playwright test we will run it on a chromium project and with a head headed mod let's go but as you can see we forgot one thing so the five tests are actually run because uh we didn't put any any value here so the playwright by default running all the tests used from our previous workshop I press the control C to to stop stop running the stop running the framework and we want to put the only here. Let's do it again. So now only one test was run and this was uh, the test is passing but actually as before we don't know did we actually create the value because the playwright is really fast. So let's put the timeout to actually see what is going on on the page wait for timeout and put three 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 seconds here all right the page is open value was filled and the page is closing after it all right so now what we want to do actually to check those items right because we want to Get some things done and to select that is actually was done right so let's actually uh, find out what is the checkbox so as you can see there is a checkbox of its own data test id all right you can perfectly work with it right so let's copy it let's copy it without one brace but we add it later so we provide the new const first to do and we want to page uh, and as previously use the method get by get by text id test id and in here we want to provide our value without braces so it's actually the to do item and as you know the um, we actually added the two values so the reasonable question the those two values will have the same will have the same uh, test id we can check it so one checkbox with a to-do item and another one with the to-do item right so what we can do here is actually tell the playwright that we want the first element so I put in the zero because as a first element, we start counting from zero. So let's actually check this element. We want to await our first to do and press check. Okay, let's run the test. You can see that the playwright reporter was automatically generated but here is the thing that it's not really can find the checkbox of the radio button it's actually saying that this is not a checkbox right so we took the element but not the checkbox itself uh, so the thing we can do here is actually add the um, get by rule 
And in this get by row, we want to put the checkbox dot check. All right, let's run it. Okay, you can see that it was successfully crossed from our list. And let's make similar to our second to do. Create a variable second to do. And then get it also by test ID. This should be also the to do item. And in here, we of course should get the second item, which means that we should put one here. So at the end of this, at the end of the test, we want to make sure that the element is actually crossed from our list, right? Because once we run the test, there is no assertion at the end. So we're sure the test was run, but we're not sure about the action we, we operate. So once we create, once we click on the uh, on a done, right? We want the element to be like, mm, you have the status completed. So as you can see that then now the element have the complete class, which is automatically given once we click the down button, down checkbox. So in this case, we want to make sure that we actually select some to do and did not select the other to do, right? Because once we run all those tests, we always will get the green result, but mm, we're not sure that actually I actions we are performed uh, catching the result we need. So we want to make sure that we do expecting that uh, to do is actually crossed from the list or not crossed from the list. The, to operate on such things, we would need to expect from the playwright. This is actually a method which is uh, 11 was allowing us to assert uh, selectors, locators with, uh, with actual result. So we would do it like this. I wait for expect and then um, we want the second to do not to have class completed all right let's make sure that this is work okay and also, uh, as you remember, we do crash, we do check our first checkbox. So let's also assert this. Let's expect that first to do do have a class of completed. Completed, right? All right. It's also passed. Let's make sure that the test actually worked and we would put not here, right? Because it might be false positive. So let's make sure that the test actually work. All right, you can see the playwright is waiting for some time and then it's actually expecting to be completed expecting sorry expecting that there is no class of complete but we actually do reserve do receive the complete class perfect so let's make it work again now let's actually create another test case and i will show you how we can operate in the form elements in different way uh, let's first delete the only and make it skip now let's create the test and call it handling form. Get in the page, return the test. Then we do go to the page go to again. All right. So um, we did take the element by the placeholder but there is also a possibility to do it faster when you have the only few tests. 
uh, just to go to the page and we do want to fill and as previously we need to put the placeholder here so put a place holder and then we put the what actually let's copy it what needs to be done all right and after that we want to put the value of what we actually want to input there so i put the john though all right of course i did away no i did forgot the wait here and after this we want to um, presenter on our locator right so we put the locator use the placeholder again right and put the press enter press enter perfect you can see that there is some duplication of this doesn't make sense to to write it twice so let's put it into the const and uh, call it placeholder just copy all the value from here right perfect and then just provide a placeholder perfect and the same in here with the locator cool let's make sure that this is actually work we want to run only this test okay open the page fill out the form press enter perfect and after it, we want to uh, we want to operate on our checkbox. Uh, so let's provide the const of the checkbox itself and await for the page locator of checkbox. Let's make sure that we have the right locator. There's the different possibilities how to get the uh, actual checkbox. Go back to our website, and once we have the mm, the checkbox we can get the toggle locator so to to provide the class we actually what we need it's actually to put the dot instead of the hash for the IDs and uh, provide the actual class so we we are waiting for such locator and now let's actually check it there is a specific method which called check for the checkboxes and let's make sure this test will pass. Open the page. Perfect. Let's also put some timeout. Copy it from here. All right. Run the test. Cool. We can see that we click done for checkbox. All right, so now as previously, we have to push our code to the repository and we will add the files and then commit the changes. And then main at workshop two. Perfect. Git push origin. Perfect. So as I mentioned previously, the checkbox input elements are really common in automation test. That's why it's important to uh, get to know how to work with them. Tomorrow we will we'll learn more about advanced elements like drag and drop uh, handling iframes. See you in the next one.